Sometime around 300 to 500,000 years ago, we began seeing a transition in the archaeological industries that we see with fossil hominins. The Ashley and hand axes, which had persisted for more than a million years, pretty much across the entire old world, while they still persist, start giving way to new kinds of stone tools. Now, the Ashley and hand axes are constructed on the basis of modifying a core into a single tool. What we begin seeing in the Middle Paleolithic, or the Middle Stone Age, is prepared cores that themselves are used to produce multiple tools. So the core itself is prepared so that a toolmaker could repeatedly knock off numerous tools. Part of the reason we think the hominins were doing this is that they began to more frequently hunt larger game. So in the context of butchering a large game, a single tool is going to dull relatively quickly. Being able to have a core that you could produce 10 tools off of in rapid succession would allow you to more efficiently process those large remains. And the kind of tools they began to produce began to diversify. What we began seeing in the Middle Paleolithic is a greater diversity of stone tool types. Tools like this edge scraper, where you can see this curvilinear cutting edge, which is perfect for defleshing a hide. With these prepared cores, Fossil hominins were able to take a core and very rapidly knock off a number of quick blades like this one. Blades that provide long cutting surfaces and blades that could even be hafted potentially onto other tools, in other words, wooden shafts, uh, to be spears or other kinds of functional implements. So in the Middle Paleolithic, we see a beginning diversity of stone tool types. Types of tools that are more specific in terms of their function. The other thing we begin to see by the end of the Middle Paleolithic is the beginning of symbolic actions. The use of red ochre, the use of ornamental objects. We'll talk about these in a moment. But the Middle Paleolithic sees a shift again in the degree of intensification that hominins are using to exploit their environment. The number and diversity and specificity of tools used to help them achieve that intensification.